Who are what you eat is brought to you by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare. It can be hard convincing your kids to eat healthy food. Today, some tips on how to keep their nutrition in balance. Joining us is Mark Mincola, Ph.D., natural health care practitioner from Cohasset, Massachusetts. Hi, Mark. Hey, good morning. It is tough with kids. They don't Not want to eat job. what you give them. Not an easy job at all. When you consider the fact that many experts estimate 60% of our children's diet comprised of fat and sugar, we've got to make a better effort. Ah, oh, that is a terrible statistic to hear. All right, so, so what do you do, and you have some options for some things that they might like? Well, I think the real key is here we do want to lower the fat, want to lower the sugar, want to make sure we get a, an ample supply of vitamins and minerals in those programs. We've got to make sure they get their solid nutrition. All right, so you've come up with some tips and some ideas here, and we're going to start with the whole grain cereals. Whole grain cereals, obviously, that's where you get your B vitamins and your fiber. And uh, number two, we said eggs spiritine, which is actually a really good meal replacement protein drink, highly nutritious. Got to get the protein more at breakfast and a little less of the sugary starch. Uh, number three, we said uh, turkey sandwiches, uh, burritos, things like this. A turkey sandwich on whole wheat bread, of course, have a better quality of uh, whole grain breads with those uh, sandwiches at lunch. And number four, fruit and vegetable snacks more of the time as opposed to highly sugared snacks. And certainly more water. It's been estimated that two-thirds of our child population is dehydrated on any given day, so they're not getting their fair share of water, a lot too many juices and things like that. Wow, and you say flavored water is okay? I say flavored water is fine. If, whatever it takes to get a good quality pure water in there, most of those flavored waters are fine, are fine to use. All right, and uh, wh how are the school lunch programs doing in terms of... Uh, having healthy options. Well, unfortunately, a lot of the school lunch uh, programs are a la carte now, and they say that as many as 90% of those don't meet the USDA standards. So, unfortunately, we can't rely upon school lunches like we sort of maybe could at one time. So I think it's really important to try to make sure that these kids are getting the good nutrition out the, out the door on the way to school. So I might want to think about packing some lunches from time to time. Do you think that kids need vitamins? It even if you're offering them healthy options? Great question. I think, Leslie, for so many of those kids who really are resistant to the fruits and veggies where all the vitamins and minerals really come from, I think probably, yes, yeah, something like a Nature's Plus uh, multi is a terrific, terrific multi, but only for those kids that really are resistant to the fruits and veggies. Uh, folks want to learn more about this stuff, they can check out our website, www.maxhealing.com. All right, Mark Mincola, thank you for thank being you. here. Next week, how to fight fall allergies naturally.